do you have an afflicted lagna or an afflicted lagna lord afflicted by natural malefics like saturn mars rahu ketu or maybe even the sun your lagna is just combust or your lagna is afflicted by more than one malefics what does what does it mean what what could happen in your life all right so it's it's very important because the lagna is a very important house maybe the most important <laughs> <laughs> because the lagna shows everything about yourself the lagna shows how you view this world so if you have an afflicted lagna or an afflicted lagna lord then these 10 things could be a reality in your life okay but of course you don't have to panic but at the same time you have to be aware of all this the purpose of astrology is to make you aware nobody is perfect everybody has an afflicted i mean there's no person in this world who does not have any afflictions <laughs> somebody may not have an afflicted lagna somebody will have an afflicted second house an afflicted third house fourth house fifth house sixth house there will be some affliction in some house and that is why we are here in this material body so but today's video is what to do if you have uh, how to know if you have an afflicted lagnesh now you can use astrology but the problem is if you only use astrology, you, you may think my Lagnesh or Lagna is not afflicted because, see, whenever you say, suppose you have Mars in 7th house and Mars is aspecting the Lagna because Mars aspects the 7th house from where he sits. So then it only means that Mars aspects the 7th house from itself are 100% or the 4th house or the 8th house. So these three houses, because they say Mars aspects the 4th, 7th and 8th, it does not mean Mars does not expect the other houses. The degree, the percentage is less. But these three houses receive the complete aspect of Mars. So essentially, every malefic is aspecting all other houses. But it may not be 100%. So for example, if Saturn is in your uh, 11th house, it will aspect the Lagna. But it is a 100% aspect. But Saturn will always aspect from everywhere. Okay, So... Uh, there are astrology softwares which can act, actually tell you how much is the percentage of the aspect, okay? But nonetheless, if you have these symptoms, then maybe there is considerable affliction, okay? And you may not have all of these indications, but even if you have like, you know, three or four, two, three is okay, everybody will have it. But if it is more than like, you know, four or five, five is like the red line, then you need to do the remedies for the ascendant, okay? All right, but today let's figure out how do you know if you have a problematic lagna or lagnesh. So, the first is you might have poor decision making. This is very important. So, if your lagna or lagnesh is afflicted, your decision making might be either you may be making decisions too quickly, or you don't you can't make any decision at all, or you make decisions but you cannot stick to it okay one of the three could occur so therefore because see what happens in the ascendant jupiter gets digbali jupiter mercury so they show you have good intelligence you know now you can make right decisions but if uh, the lagna or lagnis is afflicted you might make wrong decisions so be careful so if 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 you need to make major decisions and your lagna lagnis is not the, the best so please consult somebody not an astrologer <laughs> But uh, some, somebody who is uh, who knows you very well, like, you know, your mother, father, your brother, or, you know, your Shiksha Guru, your Diksha Guru, or maybe your spouse, or some elderly relative, okay, <clears throat> or very trusted friend or senior, they can actually tell you if you are heading in the right direction. Because an, a person with a bad Lagna or Lagnesh can have, you know, may not have uh, purpose in life and, you know, may, may just be hovering around, okay. Number two, you could have health issues. Now, this does not mean uh, you will always be chronically ill all the time. But in the dasha of the lagnesh, uh, maha dasha, antar dasha, there could be health problems. But it will depend on what, what planet that is. So, for example, uh, if, if you have uh, Venus in lagna and Venus is afflicted by Mars, so there could be some, some surgery in your reproductive organs or something like this. You know? So, there could be some health issues so you need to be careful about that okay or suppose if the third lord is in lagna and the third lord is afflicted 
So then there could be ENT problems. Okay. So therefore, again, as I said, don't panic, but keep a watch on that organ and that particular area. Okay. Or it could be more than one also. Okay. So be watchful of that. And if required, if you feel that, you know, you should do some checkups, then go and do it. Number three, you might have relationship problems in general. See, why relationship problems? You, you will say, oh, but my seventh house is not afflicted. But the lagna is the seventh from the seventh. <laughs> so it's like the spouse of your spouse, which is you. <laughs> of course, the seventh house in your chart does not show your spouse, literally. Neither does it mean that, you know, um, if you have Mars in first house, your husband or wife will have Mars in their seventh house. No, it does not mean that. But if your lagna is afflicted, you no, know, or lagnesh also, there could be there, there, there could be problems in relationships. Why? Because you might have a misjudgment about your own expectation. So it's like saying you want to you want something, but you don't convey it. And then something happens and you are like, oh, why did this happen? But and then your spouse is wondering, but this is exactly what you said you needed. And then later on, you say, no, actually, you know, this is not something which I needed. So then, yeah, there could be misunderstandings, you know, lack of harmony in general. So you need to watch out for that. Now, number four, uh, the next one, sorry. Uh, there could be uh, number five, this is, there could be carrier obstacles. Now, why carrier obstacles? What happens? Who gets uh, exalted in the original first house? The sun, right? So the sun is the character for name, fame, power, position, authority. So there could be obstacles in your profession. Or it could be that you have lack of clarity in your profession. Okay, so because the lagna is how other people view you. So it might happen sometimes that uh, you might come as, you know, um, a bit of lack. Uh, you, you People may feel, you know, you don't know what you want to do in your profession. Okay. Because you don't know in general what to do in life, okay? So therefore, this could be a problem, okay? So therefore, uh, take proper career guidance, you know, figure out your interests and uh, focus in one area of life. Then you will do much better. <clears throat> All right, so this was, sorry, number four. So now we go to number five. Uh, you you might have low, low self-confidence, okay? Because you don't stick to one thing. So you are like jumping from here, there. So therefore, you you need to you know learn to take short targets so if you take some big target and you don't achieve it you will naturally feel less confident but if you take some small targets and you achieve it you know weekly monthly quarterly then you will get con gain confidence okay so take small targets achieve them be sincere be honest don't uh, over promise and under deliver okay Better to under promise and over deliver than to over promise and under under deliver. <clears throat> so that's how you will develop, you know, self high self, good self esteem, good confidence. Okay. Then number six, there could be mental stress because the first house is the head; it's the intellect. So because of confusion, there could be you know anxiety, tension. You might have problems with your sleep. You know even. All, also along with the lagna if the 12th house is afflicted so there could be issues with your sleep but nonetheless there could be uh, things like you know ADD, ADHD, you know depression and all this so you need to do proper meditation if the lagna is afflicted you need meditation you need to chant mantras you know calm down the mind okay because the mind may be raging 24 by 7 okay so this is something you need to be watchful of now, the next one is there could be financial instability. Your career may be going fine, but your finances may be in trouble because you make bad decisions, you take too much, too many loans, you know, you, you have too many EMIs, this, that, you know, all your money is gone. You are earning 10 lakhs a month, but you don't save anything <clears throat> because you, you are miss, uh, you, you, you have problems in resource allocation. Okay, so therefore... If you have financial instability, then it could mean that you are... Now, if this is because of some job problem, it's a separate thing, okay? <clears throat> but even if your job is fine, uh, you could have, you know, like um, problems with managing money, okay? 
so you need to go into discipline investing like you know sip or you, know, you need to buy some stable assets like gold or whatever you know real estate and all this but make sure you uh, you are true to yourself okay uh, next one is you could have social challenges now what are social challenges you know you could you could be a bit narcissistic or you could be uh, you could be on the other, other extreme. So you have inferiority complex. So either you could have superiority or inferiority complex. <clears throat> so there could be, you know, isolation, lack of support or problems in maintaining friendships or social networking. So because of this, what happens is you kind of feel that you don't have anybody. Okay. Now, this could happen because, you know, you are not true to your word. You say something and you do something else. So people don't trust you. Okay. So therefore... <clears throat> If you are facing social challenges, then you need to understand that if I stay true to my word and I I listen to others, I give my opinion, you know, I maintain my individuality, I convey my thoughts properly and I respect others, then yes, I will get respect in society. Okay. Now, the next one is uh, you might have problems with your education. Why education? Because see, education is something which is very fundamental. Uh, so you you might, uh, because the Lagna and the second house also shows your initial part of life. Okay. So you might have some wrong conception about something or maybe you see a lot of trauma in the childhood and you know, you are like, okay, relationships don't work. You know, all men are bad. All women are bad. You know, so you see, because you have seen so much trauma you have you have kind of given up on life in general okay and because you did not have a strong individuality so maybe you were bullied in your school and you know you could not study your teachers didn't like you all this nonsense happens okay if your lagna or lagnesh is afflicted it happens certainly you get bullied okay so you cannot grasp what is going on in the school and you know your marks are not good and as you know in india especially the society if your marks if your marks are less you are a criminal all right <laughs> even if you you may be the nicest person you may be the most uh, humble person but if your marks are low then people treat you as untouchables you know, like criminals crooked they treat you as if you should have better not existed in this world, right? <clears throat> so therefore, uh, if you have a bad lagna, lagnesh, and if you had such things in your life, but now you are grown up and, you know, you are a bit mature, so try to forgive those people and, you know, not dwell in that hatred. That could be problematic, okay? And now you have the time to learn, all right? You may not have learned in school, but now you can learn, all right? Don't worry. <laughs> Last but not the least, you might lack direction in life. So, this could be in relation to every area of life and not just, you know, one or two areas. You know, so, as I said, number one was you may have poor decision making. But now what could happen is uh, you might lack direction only. Okay. So, poor decision making is like you have two options. Which one should you pick? You, you don't pick the right one. But lack of direction like you you don't know only which are the options to narrow down so please as i said again you need some guide if, if required take some guidance from some senior family member or from some astrologer or from your shiksha guru or diksha guru okay because your judgment and your vision could be impacted to some extent all right but don't worry uh do your best and uh uh, be 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 the uh, try to be the best version of yourself and you will make the best use of a bad bargain all right thank you so much please take care